So I don't have any pet birds right now. Uh, maybe in the future we will get some chickens. I'd really love to have some meat birds and to uh, have my own eggs. Um, but I have decided because I've got hawks that live in my woods and I've got a little uh, small bird, I don't know what it is, that lives on my front porch. I think, I think I'm just gonna adopt um, the native birds in the area and take care of them for now. So uh, I did wanna have hummingbirds. So I got this hummingbird feeder today and I'm gonna get it ready to go. I don't know what the birdie is, but every time I come outside, it flies away. Look at my sad house plants. This cactus needs to be fixed and my citronella plant. That's kind of a wild mess. Got this banana tree that needs to be planted outside for the summer. This is a fuchsia hanging basket. It was on the the nearly dead rack at Lowe's and I got it for three or four dollars and it's been three weeks or so, two weeks. And we got new buds, so I think she's making a comeback. So I did just a quick Google search on how to make hummingbird food. Um, and real simple, it's a one to four ratio. So if you have four cups of water, you'll do one cup of sugar. And you can boil it or not boil it, but I decided to boil it. And I'm just gonna pour that in. And let it dissolve. This feeder I got is a 30 ounce feeder, so four cups will fill it up. Got my hummingbird feeder filled with the simple hummingbird food. Just, this was a 30 ounce container here. Four cups water, one cup sugar, dissolved it in boiling water, let it cool and then poured it in. And I'm gonna be making this area right here where I wanna have my bird feeding stations. Um, so I have a little bit of work to do before I can even hang that up. That's a bit better. Not quite such a mess. I'm gonna be using these shepherd hooks to hang in the bird feeders and some hanging baskets. Another hook, because this isn't gonna work. I need a chain. Slide it on. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. All right, hummingbirds, I'm ready for you. Let's get moving on this. Go, 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 hummingbirds, go. All right, so now I need to pot up flowers I got that are gonna go on the smaller shepherd's hook so this is all all termenthra and this one is a Rio Dipladania <laughs> probably not saying that right this was on the one of the, the sad clearance racks, so happy to find it. <laughs> I think that'll be a nice addition. I had to switch it up a little bit. The smaller shepherd's hook would not hold these two flower baskets. Uh, so I went ahead and swapped it out for another one that I had elsewhere in the yard. And I really like the way it looks. And I hope these flowers attract some really lovely little hummingbirds so I can stand at my window while I'm washing dishes and see the pretty birds.
Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel, Sandals and Steel Toes. We are posting videos multiple times a week and we'll have all kinds of goodies for you. So please keep watch and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye.